Hello and welcome to Blythe Ray Business News. For this edition, I'm joined by Bo Stensgaard, who's Chief Executive of Blue Jay Mining. Blue Jay listed on AIM in the London market with the ticker of JAY, also listed on the Frankfurt Exchange and the OTC market in North America, currently with a market capitalization of around £108 million. Bo, welcome back on the program. Now, last week, you announced uh, two announcements, significant announcements, uh, regarding uh, the various projects the company's got underway. Can we first talk about the news at Disco? Give us a quick summary of what's going on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our exciting Disco project. Yeah, well, hello, Tim. Yes, uh, last week was definitely a significant step uh, forward for Blue Day here. We had earlier informed the market uh, that we would provide details on the first field program at our Disco Nusrak Nickel, Copper, Cobalt and Platinum Group Metals project, um, a project that we are running with our JV partner, Cobalt Metals in Central West Greenland. And those details we could provide last week, uh, I'm happy to say here. Um, and that announcement, besides sort of the sheer scale of the work program that we are setting out to do here, the really exciting news in that announcement was the decision to include an extensive drill program already this year. And this is much earlier than expected. Um, a drilling here that will com commence already here in June. Um, and this really sort of awakened people to how soon it'll be now to when we embark on exploring and not at least here drilling for the discovery of a world-class deposit at, uh, at Disco here. And, and this really represents a once in a lifetime opportunity for, for Blue Jay and our shareholders here, where we now are setting out to, to drill and, and make a world-class discovery together with Cobalt Metals. I want to come back to Disco and the drilling in a moment, but let's just quickly look at the, the other announcement, the second announcement you made last week. Tell us about that. Yeah, the second announcement was a placing of 7 million US uh, for funding our fully permitted uh, Dundas Ilmenite project. And this placing enabled us to do the, the sign off studies required by our already appointed lead arranger and, lead and lending syndicate for the project uh, financing at Dundas. And this put us in a really strong uh, position here where we can secure the project financing that will allow us to enter the construction phase ahead of the commence of production at Dundas. Um, and I would also like to, to take this opportunity here to acknowledge our Blue Jay institutional shareholders in this, um, all of whom without exception supported us in the placing last week. And this also include the Greenlandic and Danish governmental backed uh, financial institution. And in addition, I can extend uh, and welcome also uh, uh, my thanks here to a highly regarded new UK institution to our share register. So um, also good developments on, on Dundas, Stephanie. So great news on the financial front. Let's now just go back to the Disco project and the announcement of the planned drilling, which if I'm right, is, is actually years earlier than, uh, than was expected. So what does this show, this earlier move towards drilling about the significance of the battery metals projects, that's what it is, and, the, um, and what is Cobalt uh, seeing in this project? Yeah, well, the DISCO project in itself here could really be a game changer for the supply of the much needed metals for the green transition, the batteries and the electrification. A supply from Greenland would be on the highest well-regulated ESG standards and will be from a Western world, Northern Hemisphere stable jurisdiction. With, with the much needed transition ahead of us um, and uh, unfortunately also the recent geopolitical turmoil here, it is clear that we need a stable, secure supply of nickel, copper, cobalt, and platinum group metals here, and this represents this. And sort of turning to, to the second part of, of your question here, um, what is it that cobalt see? What is the value that, that, that this group could represent here for, for, for the partners on board here and also our shareholders? If we go in and do, uh, or we have done, from detailed uh, geochemical mass balance calculations uh, on the rock units at DISCO, it can be demonstrated that between 12 to 16 million tons of nickel is missing from the volcanic rock units that have been extruded at the surface. And this are what we are drilling for now, the 12 to 16 million tons of nickel here. And to give some context on, on these numbers here, at, Norilsk, at the Norilsk mining district in, in Siberia, Russia, and this is the largest magmatic nickel district on earth, 
and which, by the way, have many, many similarities to, to the disco region here. At Nurilsk, there has been, since 1940, when they start, uh, started production there, there has been a production of 9 million tons of nickel here. Here we are looking at 12 to 16 million tons. And also, if you take the in-ground values at the ore bodies uh, at Nurilsk here, it's a stacking value of more than 1.4 trillion US. So a discovery of uh, 12 to 16 million tons of nickel at Disco here would truly be a world-class discovery. Even, even just half of this would, would uh, make it into a world-class here. So um, this is the vision and, and the value that, uh, that could be extracted at Disco. And, and really, um, last thing here, to support these expectations here, the work program this summer will include mature drill targets here, targets that are supported by both historical, geophysical, and geological data, and also our recent geochemical data set that we have collected here. These exploration data in itself represent a value of more than $50 million that already have been spent at DISCO. These data, together with the new assessment that cobalt metals have done, over the last year to, with their in-house technologies and their expert team that they're bringing in. That is the background for the work program that we are setting out to do here. Well, the, the, the scale and the size of the asset um, is probably worth reminding uh, viewers that Cobalt, of course, is backed by people such as Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and others. And they're, they're, um, they're shrewd and smart guys. So I guess they know what they're doing when they decided to put some money into Blue Jay. Um, not only have they put some money, they've exceeded the spend, as I understand it. They've exceeded the spend all, already, or the minimum spend on the joint venture for the field program work. Just tell us a bit more about what you're going to be doing um, this year. Um, I've heard it said, I've heard you say it, that Disco is the crown jewel in your portfolio. So what are you gonna be doing with this crown jewel this year? How are you gonna polish it up? What's gonna be happening on the ground? Yeah, no, I can definitely elaborate a bit more on this. Um, and yeah, it's correct that that, they, that the, the minimum spend for this year in the JV and so on, that is being exceeded by what we're looking at here. In the drill program this year, we'll be focusing on several targets on the north coast of, uh, of Disco Island. And in addition to the targeted drilling this summer, uh, will we also conduct a large extensive geophysical survey and geochemical sampling program, both as a support to the drilling pro program, but also to evaluate other high pro priority target areas in the region. And, and for that, it's important to understand that this Kunusuak may represent a, a large district play here. We have nearly 3000 square kilometers of highly prospective ground under license here. And we have already, from our earlier work, defined more than 20 drill targets uh, that are ready for drilling here to be tested here. And um, we will be operating from a base camp at Disco with helicopter and boat support, where we, Blue Jay, will act as the field operator for the program and receive a management fee for this. And we'll, we bring in a sort of our well-proven local uh, operational, logistical and technical capabilities, of course, together with our Greenland expertise to the program, where Cobalt, on the other hand, are providing cutting edge artificial intelligence and machine learning together with a team of top experts within magmatic nickel mineralizing system. And, and going back to this with the top experts, most notable in that team is perhaps being uh, uh, perhaps uh, Peter, Dr. Peter Lightfoot, who besides being sort of a, a very well-recognized girl on nickel mineralizing system and has been involved in several discoveries globally, he had already invaluable work experience from this island when he went there sort of in the 90s. So he knows what he's facing here. And uh, now Dr. Lightfoot here is coming back together with Cobalt and us to complete sort of an unfinished business here and set out the drilling here this year. So, Okay, that sounds exciting. Let me move you on from Disco onto the Dundas Ilmenite project. Uh, and this is, you know, been impacted by the fundraising, the fundraising you completed last week. Um, you've got the sign off for all of that. What does the, this mean now for the terms of the project, project development, the economics and eventual production at Dundas? Yeah, well, the, the placing here allows us to progress our work to final sign off bankable feasibility study as required by the appointed lead arranger, a large uh, commercial European bank and the lending syndicate members. And, and really having the lead uh, arranger already appointed here 
while carrying out the final sign-off studies, provide a really solid setup for ensuring that everything is made according to the funding requirements. And this will also allow us to progress some of the options for optimizations that we have identified for the infrastructure, mining and processing at Dundas and progress them into sort of sign-off uh, studies here. In addition, will we also evaluate the most optimal mine and production schedule that should be in place here. And all this provides us really, really a great potential for improving both the CAPEX, the OPEX, and improving the overall economics for the project. And at the same time, ensure that we are building the most robust and the most resilient sort of mine and processing concept at Dundas. So um, with this, we should be able to, to secure the project financing for Dundas and commence construction and production where our already established agreement with our large international master distribution partner will sort of take care of the offtake here of the produced ilmenite uh, to customers uh, globally. So yeah, a major step also for Dundas here. Well, you've got a lot going on, Bo. So let me just ask you in conclusion, um, over the next couple of months, what should viewers, shareholders, potential shareholders, what two or three items of news are on the horizon for you? Well, we will, of course, sort of update the, the market on our progresses at both the uh, Disco and Dundas in due course. Um, uh, in addition to this, we also have other projects in, in Finland and Greenland. And in Finland, most notable right now, perhaps being our joint venture with, uh, uh, with Rio Tento on the Noski, Nickel, Copper, Cobalt and Platinum Group uh, Metals. Again, batteries, electrification here um, and the green transition. So. This is exciting times and, and developments for Blue Jay and our shareholders, and we will uh, inform the market about all this uh, sort of in due course. And, and the Disco Nusrak in itself here could quickly del deliver a very exciting result already this summer. We have a strong JV partner in this, and um, we are facing something that uh, could have a very significant potential for discovery here of a world-class mineralization that could represent an extreme value here. And this could be a game changer of serious magnitude for, for Blue Jay and our shareholders. So we are very excited about the developments and, and what is in front of us here. Well, thanks, Bo. We'll be sure to keep our eyes on you and on Blue Jay in the coming months and, sure. and see whether you, you actually get to that point and uh, you're on the cusp of it now. Let's see if you get to the point where the excitement becomes real. That was Bo Stensgaard, Chief Exec of Blue Jay Mining. As I said at the top of the edition, Blue Jay listed in London, Frankfurt and in New York on the OTC and a market capitalization of around £108 million sterling. That's it from Blythe Ray Business News for this edition. Thanks for watching.